I am back and the radioactive zones of Fukushima for the fourth time with Frederick to document the last remaining abandoned buildings before they are gone. In this episode, we explore abandoned pachinko parlors, Japan's biggest gaming obsession. Chanel? Chanel? Yeah. Hi, I'm Bob, an urban explorer, and with friends I explore the most amazing abandoned places worldwide. In previous episodes, we showed you as much as possible of the nuclear exclusion zone around Fukushima. In the last episode of this series, we visit some so-called pachinko parlors, which are very popular in Japan, but rather unknown in the West. What is pachinko? Well, when you combine pinball and slot machines, you get pachinko. It's extremely popular in Japan. In 1994, the pachinko revenue was $300 billion. And in 1999, the revenue was 5.6% of Japan's whole GDP and over a half percent of all Japanese employees worked in a pachinko parlor. Nice. Oh, walk in the park. Brings back memories. Another pachinko hall. We documented quite some during our previous visits. Unfortunately, most of them have been demolished by now. This area was known for its pachinko parlors and you could find many of them in the former exclusion zone. We got the floor plan here. Look, what at, hey, look at this. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> they tried to eat it, yeah. Mmm, nummy nummy. This one we actually walked by last time when we went to the Sega Hall, but didn't go here. Yeah. And now it's actually a lot easier to get here. Now you can park right at the parking lot here. Yeah. <laughs> and I think most are emptied, but this one is also still completely intact. Yeah, not a lot of trash. Yeah, we saw those when they were running. They're crazy. Lots of sounds, lots of different colors, people sitting out all day. Pachinko is a mechanical game that originates from Japan in the 1920s as a children's game. During the years it evolved to the iconic entertainment experience it is today. It's a low stakes, low strategy game. A player loads balls into the machine and launches them, trying to aim them for special pockets that trigger bonuses and rewards. You have to collect as much balls as possible. Broken. I think they're all broken now. What's this? Ah, this is how to play. These things you collect. These here. Yeah. And they go in these buckets, of course. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't know, you get a prize. Perhaps they count the balls and you get a oh, prize. Here we have oh, this uh, one was nice. With the brand. Miraku. These pachinko parlors look and operate similar to casinos, but gambling for money is forbidden in Japan. So the metal balls you win, you can exchange for prizes, from little items up to high-end electronics. It's still in good condition, everything. Yeah, huh? yeah, and here. Damn. You can see they were playing while this happened, yeah. while they had to be evacuated. <laughs> yeah. This guy was a pro. <laughs> This year. Massage uh, chairs. Yeah, massage chairs. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty expensive, huh? Yeah, I guess so. These pachinko parlors are more than just places to play. It are cultural landmarks where players from all walks of life come together and relax, socialize and play. Some rats are uh, eating everything. Yeah? The bricks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Here, yeah. The bricks. Yeah. Here food also. The rats again. There are still uh, cans in here. They're still closed. Yeah. Oh. Man, oh, holy shit. Okay. Oh, watch out, man. It's like home alone. <laughs> hey, but this area was famous yeah. for pachinko halls. Look, there's some cigarettes here. <laughs> uh, Look, cigarettes still in there. The fruit oh, yeah. machines. Lots of coins here, yeah. You know, how many have you seen of those? Twelve already now? Yeah. 
It's still okay. impressive. I don't know what to say. It's unbelievable, man. The cost of this nuclear disaster. Whew. Uh, the coins. <coughs> nice coins. Probably you can play with those at the uh, other pachinko halls from the same company. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 14 lanes with machines. Holy shit. Whoa, look at all the food. All got eaten by animals. Hey, the cigarettes are gone. My God. <laughs> oh, there. I think there you can find the prizes from the points. Let's take a look there. Ah. There's a little grocery store. So they didn't have to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Oh, here are some things you'll have. Look. Oh, check this. Look. What is it? <laughs> it looks like they even. How is this possible? Holy. In Europe, we have the dog version. What is it? Yeah, you know, when you press the wrong tooth, it bites you. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, and this. Oh. Big baseball game. Unbelievable. They still, after 11 years, they still have to clean so much mess. Cool. Hij had gelopen. En try it private. Oh, probably closed. No, it's open. Hmm. Watch out with the light. Uh huh. Hmm. Smelly. Ah. Again. Oh. Ho. Also, I like it was left. Yeah, just some trash. Trash. That's it. Look at this. <laughs> Gloves. Yeah, nothing special. Oh, probably people were carrying it to uh, change money. It's empty. There's nothing in. No money. <laughs> oh, here. That's cool. <laughs> Look at how busy it is here. Here, eating and gambling at the same time. It's only for professionals. <laughs> cool, bro. Yeah. Looks like we are in Holland. Why? Orange. <laughs> <laughs> nice colors though, yeah. There's also privacy windows and not here are these. So you can't look inside. Oh look here, if you want to chill out. You can sit and watch TV. Yeah. We also come across something else which is very popular in Japan. Manga. You can find these books in many public buildings. Yeah. 480 machines. Oh, <laughs> we heard this in the red zone too eh, when it was closed. Eating time, boys. <laughs> really? Yeah. What time is it? It's 12 o'clock? 12 o'clock. <laughs> Funny. 
Now everybody see my wife and my son. Yeah. <laughs> They're also Fukushima. <laughs> It's quiet outside, and we take the opportunity to get out unseen. A little further, you can find this small upper chinko hall. We drove by many times on previous trips, and always wondered how it looked inside. But exploring? Not possible. Because all exits on this road were blocked, and you were not able or allowed to stop. A few years later, these restrictions got lifted, making it easy to park the car and sneak inside. Finally, we get to see the interior of this place. All these pachinko parlors look pretty similar, but they all have a wide variety of machines. Some jewelry lying around here. Chanel. Chanel? Chanel? Yeah. Have you one? I think it would be stolen if this was so <coughs> very expensive. Mm. Oh. Our visit to the Fukushima exclusion zone comes to an end. Words cannot describe our experience. It's touching. Hopefully, this zone will be soon fully inhabited again. We hope you liked the series and got to know more about this tragic disaster and the aftermath. Will we ever return here? Who knows? Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and thumbs up if you liked the episode, and subscribe to my channel to see more amazing abandoned locations.